Um, yeah, hello. Um, yeah, how, how many partners is uh, too, too many? In a day, month, year, what are we talking here? Oh, oh, I don't know. Let's just say, uh, uh, like, uh, for the year would be, would, would, is nice. Okay, Blake, what do you think? I'm not walking into that one. You first. Okay, we'll write them down. Ready? Now, you've got to show them at the same time. Okay. One, two, three, go. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Really? really? How do you even have this job? It's not that high. And I was rounding up. Rounding up a posse, more like it. I, I, I slept with three, three women uh, this year, and I, I feel dirty. Caller, don't worry. If you're dirty, then Blake here needs a shower. Sure, whatever. If I need a shower, then someone should hose you down outside, you skank. You could really do that many? Yeah, it's not like I don't go out. With that many in a year, how could you? You must be really tired. I know I would be. Look, each person has a different sexual appetite. Yeah, but every day at your house is Thanksgiving, you hungry, hungry nympho. Even in my prime, I couldn't have done that many. Well, I am a retired pro. You should be in the freaking Hall of Fame. But you know I love you. Well, don't just make me look like the slut here. You had 65 on your yearly list. Yeah, but I meant times, not partners. Bastion, my one and only. Oh, wait a minute. You and Bastion only do it 65 times a year? He has a trick scrotum and a bad back, so you have to hit him when he's in good shape. And you got to go in low and fast, like the Japanese at Pearl Harbor. Okay, too much information for me. Please feel free to call in with your questions or comments. All right, next caller. I really get turned on by having sex in public places, but my boyfriend just isn't interested. God, I know how you feel. My old boyfriend would only go down on me if the lights were off and the doors were locked. How confining. Well, he lived at home, and apparently his mom had complained about the screaming and bad language. Well, you do get loud. Caller, I think public love is great, so long as it's not in a church or on a buffet line. I agree with Blake. Try to start off slow, like the hallway of his apartment, the living room, or his car. Then sneak him over to my place. I'll fix him. That's true. Well, I would. Caller, don't forget to be patient with him, and I'm sure we'll see you bumping uglies on a billboard someday. You're a healer, Kimberly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God I met you in the studio. Whoa! In the studio. In the studio. Okay, Blake. Sorry, I'm just excited. It's my birthday. Well, okay, birthday boy. You take the next call. Will do, hottie, hottie, boom, balotti. Holly, you're on the air. Um, hi, guys. My boyfriend's hot and all, but he's so boring in bed. Should I tell him? Yes, you should. You don't want to be having unsatisfying sex for the rest of your life, do you? Um, no, I don't. Look, if you want, I teach a class on sexual positions and such. I would be more than willing to teach him a couple of moves for free. Oh, my gosh. You could do that? Done it before? Give me ten minutes and I'll do it again. <laughs> But really, some people just get so excited and really just don't think about their partner. I do it all the time. I'm the same way. Sometimes when I get home from work, I just want to get off and have a sandwich. That's what he does. Oh, okay, I try to stimulate him in bed so he could be, like, more interested, but nothing seems to work. Well, my boyfriend had a little talk with me, and things worked out after that. You guys have crazy makeup sex? No, no, I blew up his car and kicked him out. So you guys think I should blow up his car? No, talk to him first. Then blow up his car. I am so glad I don't date women. Okay, thank you, caller. And remember, communication is the key to a good, healthy relationship. That and vodka. Next caller, you're on the air. What's on your mind? Hello. I like to masturbate in public sometimes and make people pay me. Who doesn't? I, I know. I like to do it. I'm a homeless man for 42 years. And I like to help so, things. Sir, do you mainly have sex with other homeless people, or how does uh, that work? What's yeah, that? I, I gotta have it. I gotta have sex with everybody. I had sex with homeless people. I had sex with a raccoon once that had a limp because I caught him. And then I did a raccoon, and then he was my pet. Or I hump a, hump a blind man's dog, make him see. So do you uh, specifically go for animals, or, or, do you, or do you prefer people? Pretty much if it's slow and I can get on top of it, I, I, I'm party time. Hold on, hold on, guys. Shh, it better be quiet. I can see a pigeon. Let me sneak up on him. Yeah, you like that, don't you, pigeon? Oh, yeah, you like that. Yeah. Oh, hey, don't make no more noise. Don't make no noise. Oh, man, that bird is dead. Oh, then the pigeon died, God. I'm going to fuck a dead pigeon. I will fuck a dead bird on radio. I show the hell will. I don't care. I ain't got no more. I live in a box. I pee on myself. That's what I'm talking about. I will hump anything. One time, I was sending a letter, and I said, the hell with it. This mailbox is getting humped. 
And then I hump it. That's a federal crime, too. You cannot hump mailboxes. Damn. They will put your ass away for that. I did 12 years for humping a mailbox because, well, I got four months for humping the mailbox, and then on the way over there, I humped one of the sentinels in his ear, and he gave me 12 years for that. But I think he liked it the whole time. He kept saying, what, what? And I said, that's come a dick's in your ear, dumbass. You can't hear a word I'm saying. I was talking nasty shit to him, too. You did not. I humped a sea turtle once. I pulled him out the ocean, and I humped him, and then I tried to push him back in, but he died. And so now I eat turtle soup. Oh, God. One time I humped a stack of pancakes just because they're looking at me funny. I said, watch this, you pancake. Boo! And I put some dick on them. You, you don't want to eat pancakes that have been humped because they're all busted up. All right, stop. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'd like to feel you sometime. Is that okay? All right, next caller. Yeah, hi, Blake and Kimberly. Yeah, go ahead, caller. Yes, well, I have this really serious problem, you know? I mean, like, this is the most trouble I've been in since, I don't know, since I wrecked my dad's 57 Cruiser on prom night. Oh, my, did you get grounded or what? Yeah, it was like a, a total bummer. I couldn't leave the house for, like, three weeks. Can you believe that? Oh, really? And he took my phone privileges away. Your phone privileges too? Yeah, like it was the worst three weeks of my life, my entire life. Like, I just stayed home crying my eyes out and doing my hair. Sounds familiar. Oh, honey, did you get stood up by Bastion again? I don't want to talk about it. Blake, you really have to talk to him about this. This is like the third time this week. I know, but what can I do? Oh, honey. <laughs> Hello? Sorry, caller. Go ahead. Anyway, where was I? Oh, oh yeah. So like I was saying, I'm in really serious trouble this time. I mean, if my dad threw a fit just because I wrecked his piece of shit car, he's really going to go ballistic if he finds out about this. Tell us what's going on, honey. Dish it. Okay. Well, a couple of months ago, I started dating this really cute guy, and he's uber popular. Really? What's he look like? Blake. What? How are we supposed to help her if we don't have all the sorted details? Does he go both ways, or...? I don't know. Anyway, he's just dreamy. You know, in a dark, mysterious kind of way. Ooh, he sounds so interesting. Oh, he is. I mean, I haven't felt this way about a guy ever. I mean, ever. Sure. I mean, usually the guys I date are just so single-minded. Mm -hmm. All they want to do is go down to Paradise City and light up some old people with their flamethrowers and bet which one of them screams the loudest. Well, boys will be boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, but it gets old after a while, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, this guy's different. He's sensitive, he's kind, and he even reads books. Can you believe it? I've never known anyone like that. Really? Yeah, like he reads stuff about voodoo or how to gain power playing mystical board games, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and he really gets off on the role-playing stuff, too. Kind of neat, huh? <laughs> Damn. Sometimes I like to dress up like a cowboy and get Sebastian to wear the fabulous Indian headdress I picked up. We pretend I'm taming the Wild West, and I have to subdue the wild savage. Calm down, little big dong. <laughs> Damn. Sometimes I'll let him tie me up, and he'll pretend to burn me at the stake. I'll just stand there tied to the bedpost yelling, Blow, you savage, blow! Ooh, it's fabulous. Here's the problem. No matter how much I like this guy, there's no way my friends or family would understand. Especially my dad. Well, how come, sweetie? Well, I mean, he's a member of the Dreg Lords. You know, a gang in Paradise City. Oh, yeah, big fellas, those dregs. Big. How do you know, Kimberly? Oh, a girlfriend of mine dated one once. A girlfriend? Yeah. Okay, caller, so he's in a gang. What's wrong with that? I mean, everybody's in a gang these days. I'm even thinking about starting my own. I'll call it the Flaming Cockatoo. And instead of a secret handshake, we could just go, Caca! Caca! We wear these fabulous rhinestone leather jackets with embroidered cuffs and maybe some matching high-cut mini skirts. Nothing too flashy, but something that would make a statement. Maybe you could hang out with the gauchos down in Lava Falls. Those prima donnas? I don't think so. I mean, look at what they wear. What, with their pants tucked all in their boots? Who does that anymore? Yeah, well, like I said, I mean, he's in the dreads and all. And, well, I'm a South League cheerleader, and there's no way it ever works. I mean, if the South Leaguers ever find out, they kick me off the squad, and then where would I be, huh? So, so romantic. Like Romeo and Juliet. Cheerleading my life. And if my dad ever found out, God, he'd take away my phone privileges forever. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. I mean, I finally meet a guy that lets me take off my cheerleading outfit during sex, and I can't even be seen in public with him. I mean, it's just not fair. Well, honey, if you really love him, 
You're going to have to come out of the closet, as it were. Who said I loved him? Oh, God. oh, well, I just assume that... Well, I mean, he's really hot and all, and the sex is great.